Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in preparation for the Vive Pro 2 coming out and getting it and testing it out, I've been changing up a bunch of stuff in my studio. So, um, change the lighting a little bit, change the camera, change the microphone. Um, went through OBS, changed all the settings, changed the bit rate, the output. Uh, just been going through and tweaking a lot of different settings and uh, trying to get everything to where it's at a little bit better of a quality so that when I get the Vive Pro, <clears throat> I finally today got my base station set up and uh, all of that's all good to go. Uh, changed up my green screen a little bit. Um, got the controllers all here in place and plugged in and charging and getting ready so everything is kind of coming in coming into place but uh, I just wanted to make a video really quick testing out the changes that I've done see what it does with the audio quality the video quality the lighting if everything's uh, coming into place a little bit better and just how everything is set so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a game really quick um, actually it's already running. Ooh, man, the power just flickered twice. Hopefully the power doesn't go out right now. So, uh, I'm gonna throw on a game really quick. Uh, it's running in Airlink on the Quest 2. Uh, just to give it a little test and see how the quality is. Here we go. Lone Echo. Haven't really, uh, I've had this game for quite a while. Haven't really played it. I might have played like an hour into it or something a few years ago on a different computer. And, uh, so I figured I'd check this one out and see how it does. Let me know in the comments if you're watching this if, uh, how the quality's coming out or if there's any, uh, tips you guys have or anything that you think I need to change to make it a little bit better because uh, yeah I don't want to put out a trash or trash videos that uh, have like super bad audio quality or whatever else when I'm uh, kind of reviewing and looking through games on the 5 Pro 2 I do not have a save game on this game because uh, like I said I played it on a different PC. I did just find something else interesting out that I didn't know before because uh, I've only tested AirLink a few times now. Uh, if you go to the dash in your PC Oculus software in the headset and quit AirLink to where it takes you back out to the Quest home, which I did a minute ago to uh, reset the floor level and stuff. If you do that, it keeps the game running, and then if you go back into Link later, you're still saved or like uh, paused at the same spot in the game, in the same room and everything. It's just sitting there waiting for you, so that's kind of cool. But I didn't know that it did that. Okay. This is Captain Liv Rhodes, personal log entry for 7 of October 2126. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be leaving Saturn behind. And Latency looks really good. Series. There's not like I'll lag in my hands down. moving. I turned the game audio down, so hopefully it's not like super loud for you guys. Sometimes I have it, it's so loud that uh, you can't even hear me talking. Oh, this will make you sick. Anyway. All mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are a bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 RTS thruster, but Jack and I managed. Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Rose. Morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Jack, are you with me? Yeah, I can hear you a bit. Hera, 
Let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. In you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. I don't think that they planned for it Module to look this good. Manual dexterity. When they made the game, because it wasn't... Uh... The original headsets, when you compare them now, are so bad. I am Hera. Central AI for the Kronos to this video quality. Facility. This looks I will sharp. guide you through this calibration program. First, close your hand. Looks like it's running wrist. good too. Now extend your index finger. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Now Command wants the Echo Unit to assume your duty. Jack? Sorry, I have to go. Kronos 2 out. Jack? What happened? My calibration program crashed. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before. It must have suspended the pod's release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level 3 inspection of... You're all set. Listen, about my conversation with Command, how much did you overhear? I heard enough to know I'm no longer going with you to Ceres. Seems you've earned yourself a promotion. The directors want you to take over my duties as station commander. You'll be in charge. That would make this our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... I they just... hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up, I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say, except... I'm sorry, Jack. It happens. There's no need to apologize, Olivia. While the situation is... unfortunate, it's not your fault. Come on, then. No sense putting it off. Let's get our last week started. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? Copy that. Your swear count is not increased for nearly 10 hours. Congratulations. Oh, quit playing with that damn thing. I mean, shit. Never mind. Transitioning to daytime cycle. Right. I'm really going to miss this part. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Awaiting input. Saturn orbital zone beta. Orbital mining facility. Designation, Kronos 2. Central mining station. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, well, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. 
Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? How the hell did we... Oh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where... Oh, I have the... Um... Ah, here we are. I have the graphic settings on the game all set to maximum, and I have the air link. I'll need to yeah, calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. I have the air link settings set to 80 megabits per second or whatever Awaiting it is. Uh, fixed, not dynamic. Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Right then, into the real problems. What do you think? What's next? Hera, status update on your scan of the anomaly. Scan currently 3% complete. 3%? What's the problem? The sensor network is attempting to perform a full spectrum scan of an unknown entity. It might take a while. Lovely. Well, in the meantime, we've got three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. What do you say we get started on those repairs? Good idea. I'll need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. Anyways, um, this game is definitely running super nice and smooth, and everything looks really crisp. Obviously, it's an Oculus game, but I wonder if I can put my head out into space. Nope, it pushed the wall away from me. Anyways, that'll do it for now, I guess. Uh, okay, I'll have to yeah. check and see. Let me know when you're ready to get started. Yeah, I'm ready to get started. I'll have to check and see what the... Uh, if the video was glitching out. Use there. Um, for all I know, this video was just... Uh, glitching and cutting out and all kinds of stuff. I have no idea. So I can't see it. I did like a uh, 10 second test video real quick just to test that it was getting audio from the microphone. Oh, by the way, I'm not using the microphone on the headset this time, which I normally do, the Quest microphone. I'm actually using the Marantz Professional mic that's right there on the uh, desk. It actually looks like it's picking up my voice really well from there. It's about five feet away maybe, but um, Anyways, I somehow, I thought I had had it turned up a lot higher, but somehow the, uh, the bit rate for when it records to video was set to 2500, which is really low. So I turned that up to six for now, 6,000. And so I guess we'll see what the quality of the video comes out at. I also set it to do the video at 1440p, 
rather than uh, it's like 2560 by 1440 or something rather than 1080p which is what I normally do so I guess we'll see how the it it seems like the game is running really great at least for me I don't know what it looks like on the PC but so we'll see uh, how it does and maybe if it comes out really smooth and good I'll try a different game and maybe I'll try turning the bit rate up to like 8000 instead of 6000 um, kind of see if I can find a good sweet spot that does good activation. quality and doesn't I should uh, let her know when I'm ready to get to work I'm ready find a good happy medium that gives really good quality and that doesn't really degrade the uh, ready when you are gameplay Let's go sort out those malfunctions. Not the best way to start our last week. I remember when I first tried this game. Ooh, a gun. I remember when I first, uh... Oh, it's like a gravity gun. Oh, and then it shoots it out. I should keep that with me. Can I pull it on my hip? We've never had an unidentified spatial anomaly just magically appear right off our port wall either. So it's kind of a rare chance. Really? Um, when I first checked this game out back in the day, probably on the Samsung Odyssey, because that's the first PC VR headset that I got, <clears throat> um, and I had a gaming laptop that was Oculus ready, supposedly, like it had a Oculus sticker on it and everything, but um, but you're supposed to be able to stop yourself by holding the thumbstick. Anyways, um, yeah, this game didn't run so great on the Windows Mixed Reality headset. In the hold. Yeah, that much but worked out. Can you tell me why we have? Looks really pretty in this headset. It looks Negative. pretty nice and sharp, okay, honestly, well, especially for playing it wirelessly. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, oh, I plugged that battery thing that I have all throw to the back, and uh, apparently I forgot to plug it back in, because I was going to play it with the link cable, and then I was like, well, maybe I should try the Air Link again, since I haven't played it in a while. It's performing really well on Air Link, but, uh, whoa, I got some stretchy long arms. Woo! So... Guess we'll see how the quality turns out on that, and uh, I need to open my alarm computer. Hopefully, I can get it all dialed in and ready to go, so that uh... yeah, I think wireless. Hopefully, I can get the quality all dialed in really good, so Before that when we uh, else, I need to slide open my arm computer. Uh, 5 Pro 2 arrives, I can actually do some decent quality videos that don't completely suck. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If you have any uh, suggestions or stuff that I should change, whether, you know, just anything. So uh, I am out of here. And, uh, oh, forget to subscribe.